हेलो एडिस टुडे वी स्टार्ट सेकंड यूनिट ऑफ बीईजीएस 183 सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वी बिगिन फ्रॉम हियर एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वोकैबुलरी एक्टिव वोकैबुलरी मींस दैट वर्ड वी नो एंड इजीली वी एबल टू यूज एंड दैट वर्ड इज लिमिटेड but uh, if we talk about passive vocabulary passive vocabulary uh, that uh, uh, from passive vocabulary we not sure about uh, meaning but uh, by guessing we can use passive words okay so that is known as passive vocabulary active vocabulary that uh, that words we know their meaning but uh, on the other hand passive vocabulary opposite of active vocabulary it means we not know the meaning exact meaning but uh, we use we also use passive vocabulary i hope you understand this and please do uh, check your progress one do this question and this second one also now we come in this 2.3 content word and function words so let me see what's come in content words and what's will come in function of word Content word means that contain noun, adjective, vocabulary, and adverbs. That is known as content words. But if we talk about functional word, functional words has uh, they there is no connection. There is no then it's not content. It's not contain any grammar. Okay, you can see as an example like I and A and on and off. So you can say these are no these are functional word. but content words that has underline that has meaning uh, we can say grammar and uh, if we see frequent words frequent words carry a grammatical meaning that is known as structural word that is known as structural word maybe this question also come in your exam so please understand structural word means that has a grammatical meaning grammatical means uh, words come in the grammatical uh, or structural words comes modals luxuries words and uh, preposition and conjunctions i hope you understand this and please do this question here's one question written this one's a interesting question i explain roughly in thousands year ago nobody is know about uh, uh, smartphone so that word is new for uh, that time people but now it's common use word so write your answer carefully please read again stop this video and write your answer if you write your answer on your own it means you have good preparation of your exam because before exam whatever you write that's definitely create impact in your exam so please write and let's move on next words come in next do this check check your progress to this two question and this one also so now we come here 2.4 some difficulties in learning english vocabulary so let's know how we how we get difficulty in learning english vocabulary first come is homonym homonym means there is a same spelling and pronunciation but meaning is different like here is written club so normal club we can easily we know this type of club a club is a associate chain of people with a common idea club that that is also club where the people have a common idea and they discuss about their idea second is this club i think you know in chess and in other things we able to see easily we able to see and is it's made by wood heavy stick we can say and third is a playing card i hope you every single person see this if not so please see now and do this also check your progress third and this question also here we see homophones homophones means pronunciation is same we pronounce totally same but we write different spelling like great great flower flower break break so you can read here and take example from from this book and write your write these words in your answer if this question is come in your exam please read this and homo means same and phone means sound okay same sound but meaning is different 
so do this check your progress for these two question so now we see what is homograph homograph means homo means same graph means writing so homograph means we write totally same that is known as homographs i hope you understand this and please do check your progress 5 these two question here is formal and informal expression i think uh, no need of explanation of this formal and informal sometimes we uh, we needs to do formality and sometimes we not able to understand uh, a second language second language like english and any other language that that is not our native language that is not our mother tongue mother tongue that we use like hindi is our mother tongue maybe in your state uh, you use different language but uh, i'll take only example of hindi so if you not able to understand any specific language so that time you use a formal words in your normal conversation because you don't know about other words that's uh, that is why it's happen so and informal expression so these in this times maybe we don't know about word lots of words uh, that's why we use same type of words it's come in this and you write uh, you learn some example and please uh, do check your progress 7 because it's important for exam point of view hyponyms word categories what categories like color if we take a color or cloth anything like we take colors like blue red white and any other color so that's come in this come a word category like cloth in clothes every clothes come like shirt frock trousers everything is come in this and tree like neem and mango tree um, these type of trees come and same happen in every single word not only this if we use a book so in book a uh, lots of books come like uh, maths english science these books come uh, not only this lots of collection what do partnership what partnership like uh, adjective in adjective we use like color and uh, favorite color eye color hair color and every type of colors come in a noun and pronoun and preposition in color and this also can check your progress but uh, i suggest you don't do this because it's not significant for exam point of view this one also not important for exam point of view for knowledge purpose you can do this you can read this this one is also not significant for exam point of view. but that earlier we learn homophone and uh, homograph that is important for exam point of view so let's see here is 2.5 word building affections and compounding two type of affection words come perfection and suffixion perfects and suffix so what we see perfects we use earlier like uh, you and un so you we can make sentence uncommon unable so these uh, these words that's words come earlier that is called perfects perfects and uh, suffix that's come later on like uh, like meant environment so that's come in this so you read these words to your book or you, you take a little bit example of this words maybe it's come in your exam compounding is a separate word separate words that we use in our sentence or we can combine this for make new words another new word like blackboard i'm sure so we can use this and please do this this one perfection perfect do progress 10 for your knowledge purpose you can read this one also this but it's not too important for exam point of view so now this video is finish unit second i hope you understand if you not to please read and you can watch again this video then you definitely able to understand thank you and wish wishes for your exam bye Thank you.